everyone, it's Alexis here and welcome back to my florist YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to be making some Valentine's Day arrangements. Now I know what you're thinking. It's January. We just got done Christmas. You know, as a florist, Valentine's Day is like probably single-handedly, I would say the second biggest holiday, the first biggest holiday being Mother's Day. But, you know, Valentine's Day is a great time to make lots of money if you are a retail florist. If you are looking for some Valentine's Day arrangement inspiration, I will be making some different arrangements at different price points. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's make some Valentine's Day arrangements. So to start making any arrangement, I always like to add a nice base of greens because that'll help all your flowers from moving around. So today we are going to be working with some Salal and I also have some of this Italian Ruscus. I always like to use two different textures because I feel like that gives the arrangement some interest. And when I'm greening up, I'm always going to just green up around the perimeter first and we're always going to be inserting on that diagonal angle. So we're going to be taking, inserting. Now, for reference guys, you want your greens to come up out of the vase. I would say about like a hands, hands height there. So I don't want my greens to come up past that. And as I insert, I'm always inserting my greens into like an X angle because I really want my stems to form and create that web. So we're going to insert, create that X. And it's also nice to rotate your base to make sure that you are greening up all sides of your arrangement. I do want to add some of this uh, Italian Ruscus here. So if I had a wedding, I would keep these little pieces for later, but because I don't, I am just going to toss them today. Okay, now I have this like longer piece. I think I'm going to save this piece towards the end. We're going to start by adding in our roses. And I'm just going to cluster two roses towards the center of our arrangement first. So we'll start with one rose there. And we'll put one off to the side a little bit. So I'm going to be creating like modern garden style arrangements. So I've got one, two right there. Now I'm going to rotate our vase and I'm going to place another rose in the back. So now I've got these really nice big full spray roses and I love spray roses because it's like you're getting a bunch of roses. We're going to start by adding in a spray rose off to the side here. Okay. Now, I love these mums here because they're like this beautiful, soft, dusty color. So because we already have some of that like uh, white over here, I'm gonna start bringing that color over here. So today we're going to be using this Anthurium. Now, whenever I'm making my arrangement, I always like to have at least like one premium flower. So today we're going to be working with tropicals and we have anthurium. I am going to just place this anthurium a little bit off to the side there. And I like, I like anthurium a lot because it really just helps elevate the arrangement and makes it look really expensive, really quality. Okay. And I also like anthurium because it kind of looks like a heart. Like, see? I am going to add this and I'm going to add this off to the side on the other side here. So it's just making it feel a little bit more modern, a little bit more balanced. Okay, now I've got one more of this like dusty type of flower that I'm gonna add right in here just to help fill in that gap a little bit. Pretty. All right, now I have this really cool like pinkish orangish spray rose and I think that's going to really help complement the little yellow piece that comes out of this anthurium. So I'm going to stick that piece just right next to him. Pretty. Now for filler flower, 
I don't like baby's breath. Baby's breath is like that little tiny white ball filler flower. I don't really like it because one, it smells really bad. Um, <laughs> kind of smells like grandmom's perfume. What I do have today is some of this nice wax flower. Now wax flower is definitely expensive. Like this is running right now, like I would say $12.99 a bunch, which is pretty expensive. Like baby's breath is anywhere from like six to $8 a bunch. So, you know, definitely make sure that you are charging properly, but I like wax flower because I feel like it looks a little bit more modern and oh, it just smells so good. It has like a lemony citrusy kind of smell to it. I'm going to just be breaking this up into multiple sections so that way I can have lots of pieces to work with. Now I'm just going to be filling in the gaps in my arrangement. So like I'm noticing a big gap right here. And I also really like this wax flower because it has like some orangey pieces to it that I think is really going to help bring out some of the orange and the flowers that we have here. Okay, cool. Now last but not least, I did save this piece of Ruscus, and I believe I'm just gonna have this piece of Ruscus come out right at the top there. Now I wanted to show you something that you might not have thought about. You can opt for like a cool colored vase um, I found these up here while I was cleaning, but I mean, like, this would be a cool alternative to, like, a clear vase, I'd say. What's nice about the colored vases is that if you make, like, a bunch of these arrangements in advance, you don't have to worry about the water getting super dirty because the vase itself is already a color. Definitely opt for, like, a colored vase or just something a little bit different outside of the box. So similar to how we did the $50 vase, we are just going to start by greening up our arrangement. I really like using the Salau because I feel like it just looks a little bit nicer than the Baker Fern that I use sometimes. Now I do have some of this Italian Ruscus that I'm going to be using. And I really love this stuff because you can break this up into so many sections like i'm about to break this up probably into maybe two or three sections and it looks like it's going to just be two but you can get a lot out of this we'll, we'll do the roses again to start with i think that's just the easiest just because these are our focal flowers so i'm going to start by clustering i think we're going to do three roses in the center this time so i want my first rose to come to about the middle here. Add another one, move it off to the side. Okay, so we've got our three right here. Let me rotate this and let me add my three on the other side. I've got one. Or, you know, we'll do two on the other side, and if we want to add more, we'll add in more later. Now, for this anthurium, I kind of want it to be up just a little bit taller in the arrangement. So we'll have that come to about there. And I do have some of these really nice pink roses, and look at how beautiful these are. Now these are not a garden rose. Like these roses that I'm working with are just like regular standard roses. So when you are ordering your flowers from your wholesaler, you know, really look at what they have. If you're in person, try to really grab like some nice blooms that you wouldn't typically see day to day. So now I've got this really nice full fluffy white flower that I'm gonna add off to the side here. I'll do the orange off to the side as well. 
Um, I'm gonna start adding in a little, some of my less expensive flowers, like my mums. You know, as you're doing these things, you really wanna keep in mind the price. I've just been clustering my like flowers together so far. I haven't really been like thinking about it too much. See, where do I add in my lipidendron? Sometimes it's good to rotate your vase so that way you can see all sides of your arrangement. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. This looks good on this side. Okay. So maybe we'll do... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of like how the Santherium is kind of making your eye draw this way. So I'm going to put one piece of leucodendron just like straight up in there. So I really like the leucodendron because I really feel like it gives our arrangement a little bit of height. And I'm just going to cluster two of these together just to really exaggerate that... Uh, there we go stop adding flowers here but now we're just gonna fill it in with some of our wax flower okay so wherever i see holes is where i'm adding in the wax flower so i saw some holes like in the back of the arrangement here one up here I'm just making some final adjustments here just going around pulling off those guard petals so especially during Valentine's Day season, you know, you really want to make sure that your roses are perfect. The roses are essentially going to be the focal flower for this season. So really make sure that your blooms are top notch, guys. Especially those roses. And anytime you ever add anything into water, it must get a fresh chop. It must. Fresh chop means that it's getting fresh water. So I do have one more piece of uh, Ruscus. And I have this last piece of Ruscus come out of the side, like so. For our final arrangement, we're going to be making a large vase arrangement. So just like how we did the first two arrangements, I'm going to start by just greening up our vase, giving it a nice cushy layer of greens. So this Salau is actually like pretty much perfect height, but you still just want to give everything just a teeny, teeny chop, even if you're just chopping off like, like a centimeter. So I'm going to be greening up the perimeter of my vase first, always rotating it just to make sure I'm working on all sides. I love adding lots of texture to my arrangement. I feel like that helps make the overall arrangement look and feel just a little bit more expensive. We've got one. Maybe I'll add that other piece in over here. Okay, I think this is a good start, and then I'll add in more Ruscus when, as I go. All right. So we are going to be making like another mixed bouquet. If you want to learn how to make a dozen roses, I do have a video up on my channel. I made that around last year. So if you want an updated video, I can definitely make an updated dozen rose tutorial. We're going to start with the roses again, just because I find that you know, they're your focal flower, so you want to make sure these look the best and that they are clustered towards like the center of your arrangement. So I'm going to start by just placing one rose just right there, a little bit 
off to the side. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two on this side. I'm gonna add in a, a pink rose this time. That is gonna be part of my three cluster. So we'll add that in over here. So we'll do one rose up there just for a little height. So um, whenever you're adding in flowers, um, I always like to place things in threes and have things go on different heights and levels. I'll show you what that looks like from my view. So we've got one, two, three, all on different heights and levels. And if we placing another rose on the opposite side of the arrangement because you want this bouquet to look beautiful on all ends no matter where you are sitting on the table so i'm going to be adding and incorporating some of my spray roses because i've got a big I've got a gap back here i mean we're just starting but i have a gap back here that i would like to add like a nice clustery spray rose to Now I am gonna add my leucodendron in next just because it's nice to have like a good point. I just like being able to see like the shape of my arrangement and I find that I'm able to create that shape a little bit easier in my head when I have my line flowers. So I'm just gonna be clustering my line flowers today in twos, threes. Um, I think today I'm gonna be doing a twos and let's see, I might add might put another one on this side or let me see because I still have the uh, one two okay so I think I'm gonna hold off on that last piece of leucodendron and I do have my more anthurium and I always like to just kind of place it wherever it naturally wants to lean so it kind of want to lean it wants to lean off to the side so I have a perfect spot right in the front of my arrangement where this flower would look really good. Sometimes I kind of just like to take my flowers and hold them and see like, hmm, would that look good there? Would that look better over here? But today, today this does indeed look good when you cluster it off to the side. So that's how I'm gonna be placing that today. And I have this really cool orangey pinkish spray rose. I'm gonna place that off to the side as well. Now I'm gonna be clustering in my mums. So whenever I'm processing my mums, I always like to keep the nets on because once you take these nets off, this flower becomes very delicate, very temperamental. I find that they do last a while, but just like overall storage, like in the cooler as a florist, I, I always keep them with the nets on. I've got like five of these guys, so I can really go crazy. And I also can go a little bit crazier just because this is like a cheaper flower, which is great. Gives us a little bit of wiggle room there for design. So I've clustered one, two, and I think I'm gonna place that last one right here. Okay. I'm going to be placing another one just a little bit more towards the center here. So sometimes I really do just like to take it flower by flower, like flower type by flower type. Like I'll start placing all my red roses first, then I'll start adding in all my pink roses, then my mums. Like for me, my brain just works that way a little bit better. So, but definitely make sure, you know, you're doing what makes sense for you. Like don't, don't do anything that doesn't make sense for you okay now this last spray rose I'm going to place in the center just because like I don't know if you guys can see but it's just like it's kind of bare right here so I think a nice beautiful flower would look great right there and it does just like I thought so 
go place another rose back here. I'm not seeing any red in the back of my arrangement. One. And we've got one more red rose that I'm going to place right here. Oh, and I forgot, I've got some of these really cool, like, dusty, pinky, uh, peachy carnations that I want to put in as well. Now, I'm definitely a carnation girl. I know not everyone loves carnations, but, you know, feel, feel free to add in whatever type of flowers is going to be best for your business and your brand. You can find carnations in so many beautiful different colors. I think that's another reason why I really like them because you can just get them in so many colors and they're really nice. Okay, so wherever I see like a little empty gap, like wherever my eye stops is where I'm adding a carnation at. I see a gap back here that could use a carnation. But last but not least, we do have our wax flower or filler flower today that's just going to help fill in any gaps i've got pink and purple i might use the purple for my next video so we'll, we might we might stick with just the white for right now okay maybe placing this first piece down below and again, I really like this wax flower because it has like a little bit of a peach top to it. Like the tops of these little berries are peach, which is great because it really blends in our, our all of our colors together really nicely. So now I'm just going through and I'm picking off all of my guard petals, any of those black petals that you see. This is Valentine's Day, so you really want to make sure that your roses, the focal flower, look the best. Actually, I still have one more piece of this Ruscus that I want to make sure I incorporate in because I really feel like Ruscus just adds a little pizzazz. So we've got one piece, and then we have this other piece hanging out on the side. Doing these little touches at the end is really what's going to help make your arrangement look stunning. So here are our finished Valentine's Day arrangements at three different price points. So we've got a small, medium, and a large. If you end up recreating any of these looks, tag me on Instagram at Flowers by Lexus and I'll share your designs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Flowers by Lexus and I will see you all soon with another video. Bye!